Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is a card showing someone who is stable, secure, someone who is showing up as even mature with this energy. Um, this person, I'm seeing someone who is looking for some sort of committed relationship, or they are showing up as the ideal partner for commitments. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, so we have the Five of Swords, Air Energy. The Three of Swords, Air Energy, and the Knight of Cups, Water Energy. Okay, so with the Five of Swords showing up, this could be a situation where there has been some sort of conflict, rivalry, not seeing eye to eye, and it's led to a lot of pain because the Three of Swords is here, and that's heartbreak. That is um, an energy of suffering because of some situation in love. Something could have came between you and your person here. And with the Knight of Cups being there, it looks as if they're coming in with a peace offering. In fact, that King of Pentacles energy could be how they see you. There's an energy of recognizing what you bring to the table, um, possibly having regret immediately after some sort of fallout has occurred. And it's like they feel like they need to rectify things. So there could be some sort of apology or peace offering coming here with that Knight of Cups. This is someone with a lot of emotions towards you. They have love for you and they care for you. Um, and it's like they want to fix a broken heart here. So let's clarify these cards, Gemini. So we have the Knight of Cups again, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is someone, again, they're coming through with emotions here. There's definitely, this could be a mutual feeling. You guys may both want to exchange some sort of heartfelt communication um, and initiate some sort of romance here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the, the Page of Cups, Water Energy, the Queen of Swords, Air Energy, and the Six of Cups in the reverse, Water Energy. So someone is missing you. Um, someone is wanting to um, come back to the situation. But with the Six of Cups being the reverse, they want to do away with an old habit or something that didn't serve the connection in the past. They do want to cut that out. Um, there could be a, a very emotional, sincere, heartfelt message coming from this person with the Page of Cups being there. They, they kind of want to make peace and have some sort of beginning in love with you. Um, they want to wipe the slate clean or look at the situation with a fresh set of eyes because they are seeing you as the best partner they've had. You know, with that King of Cups, I mean, the King of Pentacles being there, there's something that you brought to the table that they are seeing as very valuable and they want to get it back. So this person does regret some sort of heartbreak that occurred and they do want to mend things, but they are seeing you as someone who won't be easy to get back and they're willing to, um, it's like they want to use emotions to try to get to you. But you're showing up as the Queen of Swords, so it may not work immediately. Um, but this person is going to try to tug on your heartstrings or try to be emotionally expressive, honest with you. Because they do want a new start with you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Gemini. Okay, so we have what do you need to release waning moon okay so someone wants to do away with something from the past that was detrimental to this connection there's some sort of bad habit or pattern that they had they do want to work on releasing it okay so i'm gonna put out another card for you gemini So 
we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay, so this there could be something here around in, surrounding their finances, their career, their self-esteem. Whatever it is, it does affect the connection in some way. In fact, with the Five of Swords, there could even be some jealousy or rivalry issues because of this. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, Gemini. So we have youthful love. If I had a single flower for every time I think of you, I could walk forever in my garden. So I feel like this person is gonna say something. It's like they're gonna come in and say all the right things, because the uh, the Knight of Cups is quite a charming energy. They they're gonna try to say something sweet or something romantic. They they want to romance you. They want to use emotions to try to re spark something with you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Gemini. So we have surrender your belief in scarcity. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Okay, so that's the advice for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.